Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. I'm giving myself a minute to just sit down. I am super exhausted. I have not been sleeping very well at all. <laughs> I'm at that point where it's like, we're so close to baby and I'm so uncomfortable. I ended up filming a what's in my hospital bag video. So if you guys haven't seen that and you're interested, feel free to check that out. But yeah, it's been a productive day. <laughs> and I'm very thankful for that. But now I've just completely hurt myself out. I'm at that point where I'm now having weekly doctor's appointments. We listen to the baby's heart rate, which we usually do. And it was at 164, 165. It's pretty high. I'm used to hearing about 140, which is still like it's all an average range. But she said that we have a very happy baby, which is obviously always good to hear. Your baby is healthy and happy. This baby is constantly moving all of the time. It's said at this point that baby will probably start to slow down with the movements because they are so crammed and they're sleeping a little bit more, but I don't feel that at all. <laughs> this baby moves all of the time, very active. I just can't wait to meet this little one. We are so close and every day I'm thinking, is this the day? Is this the day? I just need to remember patience. It is December 10th. We are just getting ready to do some maternity photos. I clearly need a tripod here, but I've been getting really interesting cramping lately, and I don't know why. I don't know if this is the beginning of something. I don't know. <laughs> but hopefully I can get my pictures before. <laughs> it's the next day now, and obviously nothing progressed. I was really sad. I was like, is this early labor? Is this, I don't know. <laughs> it honestly felt like I was gonna get my period. I don't know. I felt the cramping was really strong for hours and then it kind of paused and then it came back and then it just hasn't happened since 6.30 last night. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of waiting it out. Try not to get my hopes up too high. It's difficult when you're this far, so it's like, okay, let's go, baby. But I'm just getting ready. I have to leave pretty soon to go to my doctor's appointment, and maybe I will finish up Christmas shopping. We'll see. And then I just got a few more things I want to do around the house today. I'm getting pains again in my legs, in the back of my legs. This is not a pregnancy pain. <laughs> this has been happening once in a while, and it's just like shooting pains down the back of my hamstrings. Sometimes it's just one leg, sometimes it's both, and it goes all the way down, and sometimes even through my feet, and I can't stand or walk or do anything. It's starting to get bad, so maybe I should sit down, but I cannot say I'm looking forward to going back to more chronic pain. As much as I really want to see this baby and want this baby to come, trust that the Lord is good and will give me grace to get through it. But our photos went well. I'm excited to see them. I'm such a baby in the cold. <laughs> like, oh, my nose. That's the thing. When I'm cold, my nose gets red. So I was like, oh no. I realized that after. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have like a Rudolph nose. <laughs> Mind you, maybe she'll edit that out. But, um, but yeah, photos went well yesterday. Very thankful for the friend that did them for us. It's very, very sweet. I am now home from my doctor's appointment. I came home and I vacuumed and I washed the floors. I chopped up some veggies. So now I need to sit down because I feel baby is so low. It just feels like my pelvis and just like everything inside is going to fall out. And I know that's normal at the end, but my doctor's appointment went well. She said that baby is low. I am one centimeter dilated so far at 38 weeks, and I am 38 weeks today. So I mean, there's a little bit of progress, but not a whole lot yet. My cervix is starting to soften, which is a good sign. There's definitely good things and progress happening, but I also don't wanna get excited because this could just be it for weeks. I have no idea. <laughs> there's really no way of knowing at this point. My doctor was optimistic especially for being a first time mom. So that was good to hear.
well, obviously still pregnant. Oh, I got a little bit of false hope there, I think. I did a workout, I showered, I am gonna go out with my mom. I need to grab a few things and I know she has a little bit more Christmas shopping to do. So I'm gonna go out with her and just walk and get movement in because I really don't wanna go outside. It's now really cold where I am. It does not sound appealing whatsoever. So I'm hoping I can just maybe walk this baby out. I know just walking will be good for me regardless. So I'm excited to spend some time with her and do that. My biggest concern is I just don't want to go overdue or be induced. So if that doesn't happen, I'll be happy. I'm sitting on my floor because it's just easier to set up my camera this way. I've been working on my computer all day. And honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I've been feeling pretty emotionally drained lately. And just with everything going on in the world, I think it's really taking a toll on a lot of people's mental health. It makes sense. But I just want you to know if you're struggling, that you're not alone. I was reading something that said you can be grateful and sad at the same time. And while obviously I'm very excited for this miracle and have a lot of joy through that and just being blessed by my husband and our families, we are very blessed. But there's also some sadness in just the way things are right now. But I'm so grateful for a savior who loves us and cares for us and just this whole season of Christmas, just knowing that he came down for us to save us, to give us freedom, that is the greatest gift of all. And I'm just so thankful for that hope in such a dark time. And I hope you're able to experience hope and joy even through sadness or any heartbreak or anything that you may be going through. I think I'm just also very emotional, <laughs> hormonal, sleep deprived and I don't think that's helping. I've just kind of been wrestling back and forth. It's definitely not an easy time, but I am going to end the vlog here. I was so hoping that this baby was gonna come and this was gonna be the vlog, but that's okay, that's okay. I just have to let it go and then maybe things would just take its course. <laughs> But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.